How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. Every day since I've had this tractor in the shop and I go and feed cows, I really miss it. So I need to get back on this project so I can get this thing back out in the field. That's what we're doing today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. I think I mentioned before that the steering on this tractor is pretty bad and the ball joints on these tie rods are completely shot. So today I've got some new ball joints that I want to put on these tie rods and we're going to see if we can't tighten up this steering a little bit. In fact, the last couple of times that I fed with this tractor while I was walking behind it out in the field, one of the front tires would hit a bump and it seemed like one tire could turn independently of the other and it would cause the tractor to do some some crazy things and while I'm walking behind it trying to balance on the hay platform it's kind of the last thing that you want it to do. Now these ball joints are pressed into the steering arm on this end and then the pitman arm on that end so basically what that means is it's going to make them a little bit more difficult to remove while all this stuff is on the tractor. So what I found the easiest way to do that is to take the steering arm off here take the pitman arm off here take this all out as one assembly then I can get this tie rod up on the bench and I'll have a lot better chance of getting these ball joints out of there. I'm going to start by taking this inch and a quarter nut off of the steering arm. And it wasn't too tight, which is good. The steering arm is splined onto this gearbox and Usually spline things, you can wiggle them off pretty easily, but this, for whatever reason, maybe because the tractor is almost 70 or 60 years old, it's a little bit tight. Now, you probably could get a puller on this. Unfortunately, I don't have one handy. So I'm going to do what people do when they don't have a puller, and that is hammer some wedges in there, or in this case, a screwdriver, which I probably have something better than this, but we'll see. It shouldn't take too much to pop this loose. she goes. Okay, yeah, that's a little rusty in there. Next, we're going to get this pitman arm off of the spindle here, and it looks like one bolt uh, with an 11 16 nut, and it looks like it's been on there since probably before I was alive, so we'll see how tight it is. easier than I thought it would be which is always a good thing but man look at this bolt I don't know if the camera is focusing on this bolt but you can see this head was rubbing on something and it just about rubbed it halfway off of there if I had a new bolt I would put it in but these are fine thread and I don't really keep those on hand now with everything loose we should be able to remove this assembly assuming that that pitman arm is loose which it looks like it is, but. Yeah, she's coming. All right, there we go. I'm gonna start on the pitman arm side and the first thing that I need to do is get this cotter pin and castle nut out of my way. As is the case with most cotter pins, there's a good chance that this thing will just break rather than come out. But that's just kind of the chance you take with these. This one's actually pretty loose, so I think we got a good shot at getting it. Oh yeah, nothing to it. Nothing to it. The nice thing is that we're not reusing any of these ball joints, so I don't have to be careful about preserving the threads or anything like that, because I'm pretty sure with this next operation, I'm going to destroy them. Bye, 
I got. That was gonna hit me in the face. Well, we finally got the pitman arm off. Now we'll do the same thing here at the other end and hopefully the steering arm comes off a little bit easier. As I'm turning this that this end is a backwards thread and I'm guessing the other end is a conventional thread so that you can adjust the steering while these are attached. With the old ball joint out of the way we can go ahead and spray some WD-40 on these threads and thread this on in. Again, remembering that this is a backwards thread, so that always screws me up. I'm just going to snug the clamp for now because I will probably have to adjust these a little bit um, to get the steering right, but I want to make sure that nut doesn't fall off too, so it should be good just like that. Now it's the same thing for the other side. Now that I have both of the new ends installed on the tie rod, I can go ahead and put this back on the tractor. But before I do that, I'm going to first have to reinstall my pitman arm and my steering arm. I'll start by putting this pitman arm on in the front and these are really easy to line up because they're keyed. So there's really only one way that they go on. the tie rod goes on is going to be this steering arm. Now before I mention that the steering arm is splined, so rather than try to find which tooth it's supposed to go on, they actually give you two big splines here. So this arm will actually only fit on the shaft two ways. We know that we don't want the arm pointing straight up like that. Obviously it's going to be down somewhere. So the easiest way that I find to do this is to get it about where you think it should be and then just Wow, I got lucky, it went right on. All right, so that looks good right there. We can go ahead and put our lock washer and our nut on and tighten these up. Now, I know I said the steering arm was the last thing, but I decided that while we're right here, there's this ball and socket here on the radius arm, and I can tell that it is just bone dry in there. So I think I'm gonna take these two bolts out, or the two nuts, and put some grease on that thing while we're here. And that's just one more thing we can check off the list. With these two pieces installed, I think I'm finally ready to put the tie rod back on. And the last piece, of course, is putting a new cotter pin in here, which I guess we're going to have to go from the top. It's dark outside right now, so I don't really want to drag this thing out of the shop and try to drive it around out there, but I would like to test out the steering and just see how it feels, so I can do that right here where it sits. The 
solder pins in. I'm thinking we can call this job done. Now, it probably goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. This procedure is exactly the same on the other side and I actually did replace the ball joints on the other side as well. But I didn't really see any point in showing that to you guys because like I say, everything's the same. So if you've seen one side, you've seen them all. And with that, we are one step closer to getting this tractor back out in the field. Thanks for hanging out in the shop with me tonight, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Mm -hmm.